Doom, 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 doom. If you disrespect everybody that you run into, uh, how in the world do you think anybody's supposed to respect you? Oh, if you don't give a heck about the man with the Bible in his hand. Uh, just get out the way and let the gentleman do his thing. Oh, you cuss around women and you don't even know their name. Uh, then you're dumb enough to think that it's making you a big old man. Yeah, respect yourself. Nah, nah, nah. Respect yourself. Dee, 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 dee. If you don't respect yourself, ain't nobody gonna give a good no. Respect no. yourself. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I had to kill a little time with that. Y'all don't know nothing about that, do you? Because you sure don't respect yourselves. And not only that, you have made it very, very, very easy for other people to disrespect you. Okay? Because you don't got no respect for yourself. And that's what it looked like from the outside or from a bird's eye view, shall I say. But um, we got to change that family. We definitely, definitely, definitely got to change that. But um, another thing I want to just talk about, or I really wanted to, the, the, the gist of this vlog is, have you noticed that everybody keep talking about some pray for goddamn Ukraine? And they ain't, ta ain't nobody talking about the black uh, people, refugees over there, the black people that stuck over there, the black people that's being uh, still uh, singled out, put in concentration camps, disrespected and abused, and you keep on showing me this bullshit talking about pray for Ukraine? Look, I am up to my ears and my neck with white supremacy. I am up to my neck and ears with black Sambos who allow white supremacy to keep permeating. If anybody else in their right mind was being treated the way we was being treated, ain't no way in hell nobody would have to for force us to organize and gather around each other. I get sick and tired of every time I see somebody that's got any kind of prominence in America, they got to be married to a white person. Don't you think that don't nobody see this bullshit? This is some of the most craziest stuff that we go for. Then you let anybody represent us. Okay. Oh, and we supposed to say, oh, okay. Because we, you know why? Because we've come across as some of the dumbest people who've ever existed. Although I know better. And the thinking people out there know better. I know that deep down inside that we are some of the most creative, intelligent people that God ever created, but we've been dogged out and abused so much that we don't even know our worth. Matter of fact, we think we have none because this overseer done put it on you that you ain't worth shit. And so you act like you ain't worth shit. You got women throwing their kids in the garbage can, shit that we ain't never did before. We just are so full of self-hatred now. And so when you look at somebody like Candace Owens, or somebody that's out here actively promoting for you to hate yourself. Where y'all think we're going to get with people like that involved? I mean, I mean <laughs> people like that, oh, you know, it, it's, it's insane and it can't work. And I know y'all might think that I'm racist with the remark I just said, but I want to know why it's like that. So it shows me that you're the bigger racist than I am if you don't see that this damn country 
Don't allow anybody. We ain't gonna talk about Barack and Michelle because Barack was the fucking. Uh, we don't even want to talk about him. Okay, so don't say Barack and Michelle because we not even gonna go there. There has never been a president who did black people more fucked up than a black man. Talking about we don't need no reparations. So let's just move Barack Obama out the way. He he went back to his phenotype. He went back to his white mama. Okay, when he was president, he had a black face. Yo, he had black features, but his phenotype. And who he represented was white people to the fullest. I mean, come on, let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it hunted. I don't care about. Ah, I'm so in love with you because they know all y'all black asses want somebody to sing and dance. And as long as we singing and dancing, oh, we're fine. I ain't never seen a group of people, uh, uh somebody take exploit us so much. That in order to, for us, like we so unintelligent, we got to uh, receive all our messages through rap music. <coughs> <coughs> Every message that we need to hear and have to have, we have to get it through rap music. Like that's all we do. And y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself for being so damn intelligent and letting these people shrink us down to nothing but... Uh, uh, I ain't going to talk about the gold and the teeth and the gold all of it because we're inordinate people. OK, that's who we are all the way back from the tribes of Africa. That's what we did. So I'm not going to let that, uh, you know, that conversation get a different stick. Because I hear people saying stupid stuff like you wear all this stuff in your mouth and all those gold chains and all. Yeah, that's what we do. We're inordinate people. We like that. Okay, we put earrings all in there. That's where y'all got it from. Okay, so um, that didn't come away from us. Okay, there's a lot of things that didn't come, that didn't get beat out of us. But some of the things did. And one of them is the love for self. Because we were made to feel so low. And now we got generation of generation of generation of trauma. And these people are telling you to pull yourself up by your bootstrap. You, when most of us don't even have boots in the first place. OK, so no, I don't got nothing nice to say about the elite group of white devils here in America who are keeping my people in bondage. Um, and more specifically, are after us with a hook, line and sinker trying to destroy us. Uh. And I don't have no other explanation for it. We got to beg for somebody to stop killing us hundreds and hundreds of years. And this motherfucker think he did something sweet because he signed the anti-lynching bill. And what is that? What What is that? I, I wish I, I thought I had the bill sitting here, but I got so much other stuff sitting in front of my desk that to me, it don't even sound complete. We got to get serious about our time here in America because America's time is almost up. And like I said, I need six people who are serious about visiting the continent, just visiting the continent. OK, I just need six of you. OK, and those of y'all who got a mindset like, uh, do I have to? Is, is there something else uh, other than America? Uh, is it a possibility for me? Other than America, if you ain't about your business, then don't even bother or waste my time. But if you are, I'm going to tell you something. There's a lot more in store setting up some stuff off this soil than it is here. And like I said, give me six bodies. And in two weeks, if you got your mind open and your account open... <laughs> You can do some damage, and I mean some positive damage. And one thing you can do, I'm not saying that um, somewhere is going to make your life more uh, uh, just a heaven and a paradise, and you don't have to do anything, you don't have to work, you don't. I'm not promising you no fucking rose garden like that. What I am saying, the work you put in here, the work you putting in here, and the money you spend in here, take a vacation for two weeks. And see 
if some things might work out best for you. Okay? Um, we're in with a travel team that is setting up trips for us, and we really want to go after rainy season. Okay, so um, that is what the aim is for. We don't want to go to uh, um, uh, if we so so. I think she said September is where we're looking to do this. Six people is all I can afford to uh, roll with, but I want these six people to really, really see what the um, uh, um, what the uh, uh, continent looks like if you've never been, what the uh, agriculture and what the business template looks like. For those of y'all who have business aspirations, those are the things that you need to conquer. Those of, of, of us who are already established, it's even better. But I think that if you're serious before the shit hit the fan, you better be thinking about um, a place of refuge, a house of refuge. And if you don't look at Africa as a house of refuge, I feel bad for you. Because for me and mine, motherland means something. It ain't called a motherland for nothing. <laughs> and it's not the white man's playground. It's the black man's home. Okay? I always say, like the uh, Honorable Mose Marcus Mosea Garvey, that Africa is for Africans. Okay? And I mean that. Africa is for Africans. So, whatever you're doing here, just think about it. And if there's a, even a thought process that ever crosses your mind, like, what would it be like to go over, make a comment, leave your um, uh, uh, thought process in the, in, the, in the comment section below, and let's talk about this. Let's get together on this, and let's make it happen, family. So with that being said, I wanted to make sure that I, I, I came on here and I addressed this because I am really up to my neck with this. Uh, 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 we need to help Ukraine and Ukraine this. And ain't nobody saying that one damn black thing about us. Not one. And black people saying the same damn thing. It's like, what? Y'all care more about them than you care about black people? Oh, God. Charity begins at home. And then it spreads abroad. You understand that? You act like infidels and riffraff. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video.